Well, the introduction of uh, new biological drugs, or biopharmaceuticals as they're referred to, um, these are drugs that are developed from uh, living organisms, from cell lines, and then replicated. Um, they have complex manufacturing processes, but they are quite fragile when compared to the organic chemistry type of drugs, which is the solid dose uh, tablet you might see in a blister pack, for example. Um, they are also indicated for the more severe and serious types of uh, disease, uh, particularly in the fields of oncology, cancer, uh, also for vaccinations and, and vaccines, and also insulins for diabetics. Well, because these drugs uh, have a, effectively a shorter shelf life, they are more fragile to damage. They can be susceptible to damage from temperature excursions, uh, from light, from humidity, and all of these things are important in protecting what is a fragile drug, to put it uh, bluntly. And because we cannot see physically whether the drug has been damaged, we have to provide the necessary quality processes to ensure that a quality person can sign this off at the end of its journey and that the patient can be administered this medicine with a high degree of trust that it will give a therapeutic effect as it was licensed to do. Well this type of category of biopharmaceuticals is the fastest growing segment for air freight in particular. Uh, there is a tendency because of their high value and their fragility that they do travel air freight as a primary mode of transport. Um, and as such, the growth rates we're seeing now in the overall global market is about 65% over the last four years and projected to grow quite strongly going forward. Um, there is an estimate that 50% of all new drugs licensed by the FDA and the EMA, the European regulatory body, will require temperature management in their distribution chain.